Lots of anticipation around the city today. It's Derby Day, but who's going to come out on top? Where have you completely covered? The live action is next on EA TV. Okay. Okay. And hello from East Anglia. This is the scene here at Carrow Road. My name's Derek Ray. I'm delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Norwich City. Oh, big chance! Well, I must say, we know full well he's capable of better finishing than that. Well, the goalkeeper has made a save here, but really that should have been a goal. It's a bad miss, I would say. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And here's the Norwich City starting eleven. Ben Gibson plays alongside Shane Duffy in central defence. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Firing it in. Still could be dangerous. Sound piece of defending. Well, they've given him too much space. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Morsi and a timely intervention there's the cut back well giving the ball away oh the threat is there must take the lead here oh it's in the opening goal and listen to what it means. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. underway 1-0 it is illegal play and hence a free kick well, the referee allowing the play to flow well nothing for them to worry about in the end good defending to Rome on the wing how about the cross well it wouldn't stay in play for them goal kick And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Oh, great vision. Well, possession seeded. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Have to pay attention defensively. Able to deal with the threat. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. 
How can he take them on and beat them? Well, disappointing end to the move. Really bright looking attack, but Stout defending when it mattered. Massimo Luongo. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, how can we put it? Not a free kick that's going to live long in the memory. Well, how we can put it, it's a poor effort, poor technique, probably the wrong decision as well. That needed to go into the box. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Hurst. Oh, he looks threatening. Oh, chance perhaps. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. He's given it away. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage, and that was the view of the referee. And space for them here on the flank. Clark. Sam Morsey here. Hurst. Good tackle, take it away. That's useful play. He's in with a chance. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Two, one. Luongo. And Chaplin has it. Well, spot on with that challenge. Has eyes for goal. Oh, it's off the post. Well, the danger is still there. And that is going to close the book on the first half here at Carrow Road. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their focus, keep playing through to the half-time whistle, and it's certainly put them in a good position to go on and win this now. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Oh. 
perfect tackle. Oh, nice ball. Effort from long distance. Oh, and it goes! Sensational strike! And now he deserves to celebrate! So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Wes Burns. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Well, that's not one for his personal scrapbook, I think it's safe to say. Well, the manager will be absolutely furious. It's a waste of a good situation. He won't be on the next one, that's for sure. A very timely interception. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. I'll tell you what, that is really top-class defending. It's looking promising. A goal here, giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Now we're into the final half hour. Has eyes for goal. And a body in the way. Luongo. Davis. Sam Morsi here. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Opportunity it is! Oh, he stopped it! Well, I thought that would be a goal, but what a save. Great reactions. Number seven, Wes Burns. Substitution time it is here. Number 14, Jack Taylor. The corner played into the box. Well, it still could be dangerous. Gibson. Very quick thinking there. Now, can they hit them on the counter? George Hurst. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Tomorrow, if you'd like more ticket details, 
An alert intervention. Massimo Luongo. Under pressure, can he finish? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. 15 minutes left for play. Could be a chance to break here. All in all, a broken counter-attack. Well, the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And a decent delivery. And you've just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. And teammates around him. Decent cross, but nobody in the vicinity. And the cross comes to nothing. Massimo Luongo. Well-timed tackle. Moving forward effectively. He'll have a go here. Well, it might still work out for them. And eventually, goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Coming off the pitch. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Number nine, Freddy Ladapo. Substitution for Norwich City. Coming off the pitch, number 24, Shane Biffy. Coming onto the pitch, number 21, Bobby Bath. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, still an issue here. And foul it is then. Davis. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Oh, he saved it well. And he's fired over the corner. Was it a great clearance? Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. Now, who can he play it to? And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. And there goes the final whistle. A Norwich City success story in the end. How would you sum this up? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent. Full of energy and pace. And the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.